Hello guys, in this video, we're going to show you how to use Google Bard AI. But before I begin, please hit that like button to show us your support and help our videos reach more people. Now let's get started. Have you tried using Google Bard yet? Google Bard is an AI tool that can respond to a user's question and provide relevant answers. Bard can give better answers compared to when asking for the same query on Google Search. If you use Google Search Engine, it will provide you with SEO-optimized websites that match your text query. When using Bard, it can provide you with the direct answers to your questions. It is similar to ChatGPT where you can input text, type in a question, and the AI tool will provide an answer. To use Google Bard, go to the URL bard.google.com. On this page, click on the button Try Bard. You must log into your Google account to use it. If you're using it for the first time, accept the terms and policy, then click I agree. Now click continue. For every new chat window, it recommends three random links that you can use as your prompt. Use it as a brainstorming tool. Depending on your role, you can use it to provide you with ideas that you need. For example, you need ideas for your upcoming events or your content. So write a prompt or a question to generate content ideas for a blog title, then write the specific niche. This can help provide a reference for your topic. It can help you expand on ideas that you have not considered yet and ask it to elaborate on specific topics. Now you can copy and paste the generated ideas into your Word document and apply them later to your content. You can even ask a follow-up question relevant to the previous prompt. If you wanted to generate more titles that is similar to this title, you can refer to it as the third title. Next, generate images. Google Bard can give image results instead of just plain text results. Let's submit a prompt to enter ideas for a location. Now let's ask this AI to recommend restaurants for this location. You can see that it shows photos or sample meals for each recommended place. You can browse each result to see what you prefer. When you click on the photo, you'll be redirected to the website and you can check out their blog and learn more about the place. Next, export to Docs or Gmail. Type in a prompt or a question. Scroll down and you can use the icon below to share and export this draft. Click on this icon and you can view options to share it, export to Docs or Draft in Gmail. This allows you to use the drafts generated by the AI and export them to your email. When you click on this link, it will show a prompt below. Open in Gmail so that you can view this content on your Gmail account. Now let's try to export it to Docs and choose this option. Now this draft is exported to your document. Now click Open Docs. It opens up a new tab where you can view the draft on your Google Docs. Now if you want to share this draft, you can create a public link. Tap on the Share option and you can view this window showing you the draft and below it shows the headline for this draft. But you can ask it to generate more headline ideas. Now choose a better headline or edit them using this pencil icon. Then click on this button. Now here's the public link for this draft. You can copy it or share it. Or you can use the icons below to share it on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit. Next, Google it. As you ask any question, it will show you the results that is relevant to your question. Scroll down below to view the Google it button. It will show you three lists that are relevant to this prompt. You can use this search query to look for search results on Google. Click on the link and you will see the search results of websites on Google search engine. So you can use this option to look for websites that is relevant to this topic. Next, view other drafts. Once bar generated answers to your questions, you can view a text in the upper right corner saying, view other drafts. It shows you different responses for the same query. It can be helpful to use other drafts as additional content when you're creating content from these generated results. Next, use it as a research tool. 
You can use BARD to compare different products or anything that you can think of. It saves you time to look for different websites to read as you look for product reviews or blogs to learn detailed information about different products as a comparison. When you scroll down, you can see that BARD can provide data shown in a table. Showing data in a tabular form is better to understand, especially when comparing different products. Next, ask about a list. Ask about a list of the top number of items depending on your topic. Start with a few numbers such as the top three list and later you can ask it to add another list relevant to the previous prompt and it can provide you with more relevant results for your topic. Next, provide feedback. If you think that the result that it provided is not relevant or is incorrect, then you can click on the thumbs down icon to submit your feedback and you can help improve the AI. Next, create content. You can ask the chatbot to write a specific number of words for a specific title. Ask it to generate more ideas for this content. Compile the results generated and in addition, use the feature view other drafts and add these results in the content that you're compiling. Next, rewrite content. If you have existing content, you can copy and paste the exact content as the prompt, then add the keywords and instruct it to rewrite this content. And you can copy and paste it or export it to your Google Docs. So that's it for today's video. But before the video ends, here's something you shouldn't miss. If you need help to make courses and training, we have a marketing app that can help you create your own online courses that actually get sales. Create amazing courses with Udemy Great Customer Experience. It includes profit and conversion boosting plugins. It integrates a popular payment system. It even supports video courses on any platform. It has a rich interaction with built-in comments, reviews, and questions. Create awesome courses. It would be easy for you to set up, and your students will love the user-friendly experience. Access dozens of ready-made templates for everything. Customize your course themes to make it feel unique with your branding. Students can resume course playback where they left it. So try Course Funnels now. Go to the URL getcoursefunnels.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.